Американці прислали їдні джіп, тож росіяни краще би тоді біжіть, бо ЗСУ прибуде в ту же мить, бо ЗСУ прибуде вас там бить, гадаю, ця орда була друга світу, тепер з них ловлю прикол, ліга сміху, от би попити живчик та де ти дупи, як бачиш живчик вже допив, ну а тут і ти. I used to be pedantic now, I'm not so sure. Uh, um, welcome to the Pope is Gay. Um, today we've got a very special episode for you. Uh, Luke, what are we doing Do we... today? <laughs> That's great, Dylan. That's a great setup. Uh, we're doing a meme contest, but obviously first we need to, you know, you, you just just talk a bit, you know, just get in the flow, get in the rhythm. Uh, I do. And I think... Yeah, I do like our pre-match chat that we have on the, on the podcast. Yes. Yeah. I think there's no better way to start, really. Uh, then looking at um, the uh, the recent winner of the uh, uh, joke of the year or the funniest gag at the Edinburgh Festival Fringe, that's what it's called. Oh yeah, yeah. I hope that everyone can laugh at it. I hope that it's like you know, there's no one group that's like, oh, I'm not sure about this. I hope it's like you know, equal opportunity. Everybody's. I hope it's a well, joke. Finds I it hope funny. it's a joke by that Rosie Rosie Jones lady. <laughs> <laughs> She should be the only one who's allowed to make comedy until someone else comes along who's like her but not white. Okay, because she's a woman. She's, I think, a lesbian, and she's disabled. So yeah, you know, the that's... only thing she's got against her is that she's white. What were you writing there, Dylan? Um, just a note to mute my what I just said on the podcast on the thing which before I send it. No, don't don't do that. Don't don't stop muting yourself. But then it's because I like because I spoke over Michael and no one reacted to it. it. Just it would be the the no, podcast I, I would heard flow you. You did a, much better. You did an impression. You did an impression. But of it Rosie would just Jones. it will flow much better. I'm gonna. I will. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do a Rosie Jones impression later. But it's just it's just because Michael was speaking. I was speaking. Yeah, sure. No, I'm You're sure that's to, the reason. That is genuinely the yeah. reason. I'll do. Um, we'll okay. do it later. We'll do it later. Right, I'm going right. to change one of my memes to feature Rosie okay. Jones and make Dylan read <laughs> <me> down. <laughs> so, here is the joke. I started dating a zookeeper, but it turns out he was a cheater. Oh. Ah, uh, that's funny. That's, that's funny. <laughs> that that's is... like one of those terrible jokes that Dylan would do. Um, like as a final thought. <laughs> yes, that is the funniest gag of the year. But of course, many people have pointed out a uh, a problem with it, uh, which is you started dating a zookeeper. Turned out he was a cheater. Cheaters aren't usually zookeepers, uh, but uh, yeah, zookeepers, logically doesn't make much sense. Yeah, zookeepers do look after cheaters. Um, but yeah, I I think it would yeah. be better again. Not to, I'm not a professional comedian. Like, oh, can you can no, you yeah. guess the uh, the gender of the uh, of the winner of, of the writer of the show? <laughs> Go on, Dylan. Take a Was guess. the person... Now, you know, so I've got a 50-50 chance of being right or wrong here. Um, okay, was the so you're comedian, take a random guess. Was the comedian a comedian? Was this a female comic? It was, yes. Ah, oh, there you uh, go. Wow. Just a, just a has... flip of the coin. Well, just also, a... to be fair, also because, um, you know, the joke is I dated a zookeeper and it turns out he was a yes, cheater. exactly, so, yes. Obviously, you know, it would either be a gay man or a straight woman. Yes, uh, Lorna Rose Treen uh, mm. oh, is wow. the c- comedian, and again, three names uh, are, yeah, are one of those. Sign. Yeah, is that double barreled? I'm not sure. Uh, what private school did she go to? I'm going to look that up in a sec. Uh, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, the the point is that um, obviously you could say that you know I started dating someone who spent their days at a zoo. Uh, instead of a zookeeper specifically, because then I think the cheetah gag yeah. would would work better. Uh, and again, that's just something that I thought of. But then again, I'm not a professional comedian like mm. Lorna Rose Treen. Spoiler alert for later, but um, I'm in Canada, and one of my favorite running jokes has been: any time I see any like body of water, no matter how unimpressive, I've gone, oh, "It's the Niagara Falls." Um, ah. And you know, so is that going to be? Does that qualify? No, I mean, it, I'm sure it's hilarious if you live in Canada or specifically around the Niagara Falls area. I, uh, I, I don't think she's at. Well, I, I don't know what school she is from. Uh, she doesn't. It's not. Let's necessarily... just say it's not the school of life. <laughs> it's not necessarily a private school. Maybe she went to a zoo, and maybe she actually did go out with a cheetah. You know, maybe, maybe that, maybe that's, you know. <laughs> no, that's a good point, Dylan. Thank you. Yeah, well done. <laughs> I'm proud point. of you. Good point, well made. Right, uh, but yeah, Michael obviously is continuing his travels around Canada, 
Uh, where, where are you? Um, Nip Pissing Bay or whatever? Yes, it's Nip Pissing Bay. Uh, that's and I'm not the location joking, I'm at. This Michael. is serious. Um, Michael, I'm happy anyone, to be there. Has anyone said to you, hey, what's up, me hoser? Oh, there was, um, oh god, what was it? Oh crap! Oh, I know what it was. It was um, it was actually today. I was listening to an account of like a an Air Force pilot explaining like the the horrors of um, you Being know, gaggy, uh, their, their plane, their plane burning, their oh, plane yeah. burning, and like it was on fire, and like everyone was dying, and mm-hmm. it, but like it was impossible to take it seriously. Like, eh, uh, so I noticed that the uh, plane had set on fire, and I realized that all of my friends were going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I struggled to get out, but my lungs were filling up with smoke. And I was like, I can't take this seriously. <laughs> my lungs were filling up with smoke. Yeah. I you still... just imagine, like, if, like, the scene in, like, Jaws, where, like, the captain's, like, explaining, like, how horrifying, like, sharks are and stuff. Yeah. It's just like, uh, it's just like a Canadian guy said, the shark came at us and we didn't know what to do. I saw my friend rip limb from limb right in front of me. I still wake up in the yeah. middle of the night. With his neat mirrors, and <laughs> I've thought about taking my life a, a number of times. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, that's enough of that, eh? Uh, uh, apparently, yeah. apparently, yeah. hoser is is something you don't want to be called by a Canadian. Oh, it, it's a signature oh, really? Canadian insult translating as idiot or loser. It comes from so hockey. Is the reason why you picked up on that insult, Dylan? Because you went to Canada and people told you that. <laughs> I said, "Hey, what's up, me yeah. hoser?" <laughs> Just like, "Hey, you're right, buddy." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "I'm not your buddy, guy." <laughs> yeah, Good um, it said that the beaten players in hard fought games were made to hose down the ice after the game, so that's why it's hoser. No, that's that's fantastic stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, Michael, I don't know if your topic is going to be about that, but we'll see. Okay, well, we'll move on to our activity then. Uh, we are going to be do- segue. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you. I, I I do practice at this like every single week. Uh, you know, it's in it's the tough. mirror. Yeah, uh, yeah in, in the mirror. Even though my camera isn't even on. Uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah. This is going to be a visual video. You know, people will be able to see what memes we have uh, created. Um, oh, not created now. We haven't made these up by ourselves. We, actually, we, we just stole act, them. actually, two of the memes I'm submitting are memes that I created myself. So, oh, you don't mm. get extra points for that, by the way, Dylan. Uh, no, so. I know. Yeah, but um, okay. It's just it's just the funniest. What meme you know tickles your fancy the most? You know, that's it. All right. So again, we're gonna do what we did last time. Uh, there are um, I, I think yeah, five uh, matches. Uh, between each of us, so Dylan will play Michael five times, and I will decide, and then you know, same for everyone else. And yeah, basically, uh, yeah, yeah, um, we will either have a decisive winner, or we will each win one, I guess, um, yeah, round or or match overall, and we'll all draw. So yeah, uh, who who won last time? By the way, I think it was Michael, right? Or Dylan? Yeah, I think it was me, which I I hope so because I used it as an excuse not to really. Uh... Like I, I, I decided it would be unfair if I tried too hard this time. Oh, that's so a great like, sign. Uh, so I was like, <laughs> um, you know, oh well, I won last time, so you know, I'll, I'll give the other the other lads a chance. So basically, what I've gone for is basically just the rejects from last time. So I didn't actually have to come up with any more. I just took the ones that made the short list last time. That's what um, we like to hear. Yeah, that would be fucking great. Jesus Christ. To be fair, some of them aren't necessarily bad. I just didn't include them because, funnily enough, they were too similar. And I thought, well, let's not oversaturate uh, the video of too many of the same type of meme. <laughs> and you might say that attitude was the attitude that led to me winning. Especially in contrast to one other person. Yes, but of course we have a new rule this time, don't we? Uh, yes. Which is, you can only submit two memes uh, that are of a, you know, a similar type of meme. So no, like I think like eight of Dylan's ten last time were Harry Potter memes. Yeah. Uh, so that's not allowed anymore. Max and of two. Um, we will have uh, Dylan and Michael playing each other. So send it to Michael, don't I? No, yes, yes. Yeah. I yeah. just <laughs> I listened back to our first one. I was thinking, God, this guy sounds really stupid. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I... <laughs> Yeah, obviously the, the, both memes will come to me to judge, but yeah, the way we're doing it is, yeah, Dylan will send his to Michael, and then yeah. Michael will send both to me. So I don't know which one is which, so I can't, you know, be biased in any way. There's no way you'll know which one's Good. mine. Which yeah, one's exactly. <laughs> no way to determine. So I'm yeah, sending to Michael ha- for you to judge. Yeah, if it's a Harry Potter one, we all know, I think. But yeah. 
Right, okay, so uh, as you can see on screen, we have our first two memes. One of these is Michael's, one of these is Dylan's. So yeah, this is going to be a very visual episode, which mm -hmm. is good. So, yes. okay, first, I, I'm looking at a Harry Potter meme, uh, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a good sign. Ron, you dumb sheet. We missed... Why is he? Why is he talking like this? What the fuck? Oh my god! This is like think... this is like old like two thousand like <laughs> this is what they used to do with like the, the like the can I has cheeseburger? Oh thing. yeah, this is like from twenty eleven. I think Christ. it. I think yeah, it means exactly. It's... Like when you have like the cat, he's like, can I has cheeseburger? I wonder who this is by the way. Yeah. I think it makes it Ron. funnier that it uh, doesn't make sense. Oh, do you? All right, Ron, yeah. you dumb shit. We missed to Hogwarts. We ain't gonna to Hogwarts, mate. And then they're crashing into the Twin Towers, uh, which is, yeah, I think it's kind of predictable, you know, but no. uh, whatever. No. <laughs> uh, okay, what? I think we should see other people. Are you being for real? What the fuck is with the confetti? Okay, right, Michael, is that a meme? I don't think that's a meme. Well, uh, I thought like, uh, you know, I feel like sometimes like conversations, if they're, uh, you know, a little bit goofy, qualify as memes. Right. We, we, we got to draw a line in because I had some funny images lined up and I was like, no, that, that doesn't qualify. But, so yeah, what it's... you needed to do, Michael, is you put like a, little, a caption saying like, um, oh, what's with a confetti or something? Actually, that's what well, I should have no, done. No, you put mine. a caption that's like me, me when I'm trying to be serious. Yeah, something like that. That would be yeah. a meme, even though it would be a bad one. But yeah, that would qualify yeah. it. Yeah. All right. So good stuff. There's We're... nowhere to go except up. Yes. Okay. <laughs> right. So yeah, I, you know what? I can't believe this. I've got to give the win to Dylan because I don't think Michael's qualifies, which is fucking insane. Uh, that that has won, but fuck it. Dylan is winning 1-0. Oh, he, uh, he takes round one. Of course you did against Michael. So now <laughs> next up is uh, Luke and uh, Dylan. So uh, yeah, I love uh, I love when I get to choose. Yes, like Michael when I get is, to decide. Michael is choosing. Okay, <laughs> uh, so this is a picture of um of Andrew Tate, not the not the one that you know is the is the you know angry guy. Not you the, feel the northwestern one. <laughs> yeah, the other one. When Mum asks to borrow the mayonnaise jar under my bed, <laughs> and he looks very shocked and concerned, I think because he knows. <laughs> Although the premise there is also ridiculous, because like, <laughs> why would you ever want to borrow? No, <laughs> like the logic there makes no sense. But that's fine because. Um, and uh, oh, this one's also pretty good actually. In a way, I like this one too. Um, so it's a. Um, a, 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 you know, it's, it's a black person next to a um a white person, <laughs> a, a white person who specifically is looking, you know, kind of a, a bit like muscular and like he probably does very well with mm -hmm. the the ladies. Um, and then beneath it, uh, you have the two countries that are famously next to each other of Niger and Chad. <laughs> now, this is of course relevant because Niger uh has a political situation going on. Um. Luke's might be the Andrew Tate one, but yeah, I think I'm going to go for the Andrew Tate one. Yes. Because, mine is the, I don't know, I find it goofy. Mine is the Andrew Tate one, yes. Thank you. Thank you for that, My Michael. I get the win there. I'm sorry, Dylan. You don't well take done. two out of two. Well played. Yeah. So uh, I'm 1-0 up on Dylan. And uh, yeah, uh, now it's time for Luke versus Michael. That was, a good, uh, that was a good blind one we just had, though, that last one. That's, that's what it's all about. That was in the spirit of it. <laughs> The spirit of the meme content. <laughs> yeah. A bit weird. Mine was a little bit too offensive. Um, so I'm glad it didn't win. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Maybe if we start telling people that the brain is an app, they'll start using it. <laughs> Luke with his minion oh, memes. That's like again. one of those post-ironic ones. <laughs> yeah. Luke, you got to stop with the minion memes, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Versus, what is something you wish you had? A family, and he's like, ah, oh, and there is no family. Um, yeah, yeah, very good. Um, <laughs> I do like a minion meme, but um, I will go for the uh, which I'm a yeah. I think I know who's who, but I think I will go for the uh, the family feud one. Which one do you I'm think? I'm surprised which? you knew who who. I think who? I think Luke's I don't is the family. Think it's so obvious. I think Luke's is the family feud. But no, mine's the minion that. meme. Was oh, it? Yeah, see, yeah. <laughs> oh no! Oh, dear. Michael gets. Michael gets the win then. Michael's family feud meme wins. Uh, so yeah, we after 
one round after round one, we each have one win. Oh, are That's you trying to good. submit sillier memes to... Um... I'm trying to play to, play to my audience, you know? <laughs> yeah. I see. Very good. Okay, so now it's time for Dylan versus Michael. So, uh, yeah, uh, send me them and I'll, and I'll have to judge which is better. So I'm sending it to Luke. No, I'm, yeah. Well, no, you're sending it to Michael because... So I that... can send it to Luke. <laughs> so I nearly I... said it. I nearly sent it to you, Luke. Okay, this is right. so simple. <laughs> and again, like... <laughs> okay, I like how you listen back to the recording. Oh, this guy's so dumb. <laughs> and he's still making <laughs> <I> this, <am> <laughs> the same errors. <clears throat> so now, it's after that, it's time to choose the memes. So yeah, this is round two. So first up, we have a Ryan Gosling meme. Uh, me, after I realised I spoke too much today and I wasn't mysterious like I planned. Okay, I know. I think I know who that meme is because... Uh, uh, oh, sorry, who that meme is from because that is Ryan Gosling in the classic 2011 film Drive where he barely speaks and is, of course, quite mysterious. Uh, and yeah, okay, now we have a, I'm sure, a non-misogynistic meme. Uh, well done, lionesses. Now get back to the kitchen. The men are playing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, well, you know it's what? It's bad enough not watching it and not paying attention, but... <laughs> It's bad enough. It's bad enough only looking up the result of the final the day afterwards because you forgot it happened. Not it's to bad say enough. I did that. Getting a lion and waking up to see Spain lift the World Cup trophy. You know, it's bad yeah. enough. <laughs> <laughs> to, to denigrate what these women almost achieved. <laughs> almost achieved. <laughs> they they almost forty years later, fifty years late. 60 years late, they've almost achieved uh, what the men achieved. Oh, man, I was going to go off on this, um, actually. But, you know, because you know we all respect women's football deeply, but yeah. we do, we do of course, feel there are some arguments that... So, so, for instance, right, Sarah Weigman, who's the England's women's coach. Sabrina. Um, mm. Sorry, Sabrina. My part, yeah, she's not English. Or she's, Serena, she's I think. Dutch. Or some, something like that, yeah. All right, whatever. Anyway, whatever her fucking name is. The point is that she is the women's coach and uh, for the England women's team, of course. And um, recently, there have been rumours that she may replace Gareth Southgate mm-hmm. to be the men's coach of the, you know, the, the men's England team. And there were some people on Twitter who were like, um, "Oh yeah, the the women women's football is not a stepping stone for men's football." When this news came out, and I was just like, "Do you want to tell uh, whatever she's called, Sabrina, Sarah, S- Serena, it is White, Serena. and that?" Okay, Serena Weigman. That what what job do you do you think she would rather have? Do you think she'd rather have the yeah. England men's job or the England women's job? Do you, do you want to tell her that it's not a stepping stone and she reckon, shouldn't take that job? I yeah, reckon they're trying to hold a sister down. I the, know. Men, the men's job might pay a little bit more as well. I reckon. Well, it, yeah, it, it pays like four it times. It might pay a little bit more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but they were they were really offended by it on the. I watched. I actually watched the. I went to the pub. And watched it. They were doing like bacon sarnies and uh, happy hour pints while the game was going on. So it's you know oh, it's good Christ. good experience, you know. Um, but um, they were like the the pundits were like, this is you know it's outrageous. It's like as if the men's game is an upgrade from the women's game. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> well, were they saying this about Sarah Vikman? Yeah, or yeah, about Sabrina. about her being offered the yeah. England men's job. Oh, uh, like the yeah, four yeah. women pundits it's... were like, um, as if the men's game's an upgrade. It's ridiculous. And honestly, it'd be great for like women in football in general. I think if you know a woman got like the top job of a like one of the best national teams in the world. Yeah. I think and there brilliant. are men who men who coach women's football. I assume. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. But like you... the, the Spain guy, the Spain manager. I mean, like he. he... I mean, there's a bit of problem because apparently he touched one of their tits or something when they yeah, won. Yeah, he's a bit of a yeah, but he's a bit of a predator, which is fine for the players on the pitch, but not for the manager. You know, you know, it's fine yeah, for your striker. True. You don't want the manager to be a predator. No, but that's the thing. Like, the Arsenal women's uh, manager is a man. I think whatever. Do you think he'd rather be Mikel Arteta's job or, or his job? Yeah, we've got. You know what? After going on that rant, um, well, actually, it wasn't a rant by me. You all agreed that women shouldn't play football as well, right? You, that was the mm. consensus. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, obviously, I have I have to give the the win to the non misogynistic meme. Uh, so congratulations. I think that is to Michael, right? That was your meme winning. Yeah. 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 I, I remember also. I think like one of the things I like about that meme is it reminds you of like um, 4chan because I feel like a lot of the time like the kind of like incels and people like that they really look up to Ryan Gosling 
uh, in that film and they're like yeah if i'm just like dark and mysterious then women will find me attractive yeah and they miss the crucial step of looking like ryan gosling <laughs> yeah like, you know, we've all we've all missed that step at some point yeah. in our lives well apparently i have not actually because you know what someone in my life said i look like ryan gosling ah. so there you, you know go. what luke i yeah i can agree um oh, but, really you know it's, sometimes you can you know not to say that you're not as attracted to Ryan Gosling, but sometimes you can look like someone, but not in the ways that matter. I, I look like a discount Ryan Gosling, you know. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Yes, that's what you look like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Um, but yeah, I, I, if I wasn't like, I could be like a stunt guy yeah. for Ryan Gosling, you know. Yeah. yeah. I, it's yeah. like how Dylan looks like a discount Do- Domino Gleason, whatever his name is. Domino. No, Except- he's got far more hair. Come on. <laughs> that's a good point, actually. Yeah. Like I said that. Oh, he does. I'm sorry. To be fair, now I'm looking at him. My meme that I submit, this was one of my two homemade ones. Um and um I Oh really? I, you made it yourself. I was um <laughs> I I didn't I didn't want to send it to I didn't I thought I thought I had a best chance against Luke because I, I know Michael's a bit of a feminist, so um but uh you know Just clearly didn't clearly didn't work, so yeah. Um so yeah, let us now move on to um Luke versus Dylan. Okay, they're pretty so this one um is from uh it, it's an instagram post from Ch- i feel i feel like this would be pronounced chaston um Buti- yeah and it says <clears throat> it's a picture of pete Buttigieg, who i assume is a uh, chaston's uh, hus- husband you would uh, be correct 10 yes. years in because uh pete Buttigieg is a famously gay politician um, <laughs> he's famous for one being gay and two looking like a mouse okay. 10 years in and we bone like we're cheating on each other with each other. A decade plus, and his <laughs> dick slash brown slash taint area still pones my dick. Okay, well, yeah, those are all some words I just said. And uh, yeah, so I, I assume, like, obviously, uh, I, I think it's fair to say that this is a, a fake, a fake image from this politician's husband. Um, now, Michael, can I tell you the context? Or do do Dylan's mean first? Talk about that. Yeah, okay, how do you yeah, know? Yeah. I appreciate you. Yeah, exactly. That's it, yeah. Um, so this is, by the way, from uh, it's a screenshot of uh, the person who posted this. I don't know if this will help. It's called Michael Kenyon Murphy. I saw her standing there. And I told her she had three beautiful children. Sorry, I should explain what it is. It's a um, woman in a burqa with a well, child people can in a burqa. See. People can see on screen. Stood right next there. to. Oh yes, of course they can, can't they? Yeah, but yeah. just for the people who do listen audibly, because I know a lot of people listen to it while they're out running and stuff. Oh yeah, obviously. Um, yeah, yeah. She's uh, and and next to her are two bin bags. Um, uh, I told her she had three beautiful children. She didn't have to get all pissed off and threaten me. It was an honest mistake. Um, Luke, would you like to explain the context of presumably uh, Dylan's meme about the okay. uh, Pete Buttigieg? Yes. Yeah, so obviously. Uh... <laughs> The Chase and Buttigieg, that is a uh, a real Instagram post, but of course the caption has been changed uh, to a, uh, a a meme caption. But um, the original caption was just this guy, uh, and the the context okay. the context is funny because do, do you know where Pete Buttigieg is standing? Is it like in a memorial or something? It is a memorial. Yes, it's yeah, in a exactly, ho- yeah. in the Holocaust memorial in Auschwitz. That's quite funny. That so, is actually really funny. That's why. <laughs> just uh, people found that a while back it's just this guy in auschwitz it's just very funny yeah uh I, my my problem with the um you know the 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 burka one is um that you sort of get the joke immediately like may, maybe then her husband walked up and said it's okay all women are trash <laughs> <laughs> anyway you know some something just to kind of like you know because so like who you, are you, you going to win to michael so yeah i think based on that um i'm, I'm going to give it to um whoever posted the uh the chaston booter judge oh i um, wonder who post. yes that's 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 a win for me so i go up two nil on dylan so dylan's gonna have to win three in a row to, to beat me oh dear. so yeah uh but of course next up is luke versus michael Two Simpsons memes here. This is this is oh, really on this, yeah. Repeat, you are not in competition with each other. Hey, Cinema just called on the twenty first Barbie is opening against Oppenheimer. You're in direct competition. Don't go easy on each other. Just because you cater to different audiences, I want to see you both fighting for box office glory. Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> Versus I like that. Wait a minute. You didn't find out what happened to my gangster who dissed my fly girl. I gave him one of these. I, the Barbie Oppenheimer one, I, I don't think 
is really that funny, whereas um, the other one is making a joke. So I'll go with whoever sent the um, one with uh, Mo and the uh, Fly Girl. It was a very clever... Me- I thought the Barbie Oppenheimer one was clever. It referenced The Simpsons, you know. Yeah, your, um, one, your one was more topical. Mm. Yeah. And, My one and, was more timeless. Yes. Okay, <laughs> fine. Whatever. Right, so uh, that means that Michael somehow has won against me again, so, um, no. which means that Michael is up 2-0. Uh, and so yeah. there's two 2 nils going on. Yeah, so the only one who isn't winning 2-0 is Dylan, but he has a chance to take the lead because it's Dylan versus Michael next. So here we go then. This is the first meme. Her, babe, come over. Me, sorry, I can't. Her, I need comfort and emotional support. Me. Okay, um, is that from like an uh, an advertisement, like a running ad or something? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, probably. Real okay. splinter. Yeah, so, and then we have a Spongebob meme. R.I.P. to the families, but this meme made me laugh. Sorry. Okay, you know what I, I like about that one? I like the effort to, you know, avoid, um, you know, like, trying to be offensive. <laughs> you know, the fact they're apologizing. That actually, I think that improves it significantly. <laughs> okay, again, I, um, uh, Dylan, do you want to explain the the, the the running meme. I suppose you sent that. It's just yeah. like yeah, Dylan, explain that one. <laughs> it's just some kind of like Getty Images kind of thing, but it's like you know, um, you know, come over, and it's like, oh, well, what's this? And the emotional support. It's like, oh, I'll run run to you and give you emotional support yeah. if you need it, kind of thing. I mean, it, it kind of reads like a, a an inversion on the classic. Like, uh, I think it's like uh, my parents aren't home, and he runs over. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's just not that funny. And so I'm going to give it to the SpongeBob no. meme because I, I'm not think I don't think it's that funny. But you know what? Hey, at least it's got a bit of a, a bit of a joke there. Mm. So who who has the SpongeBob meme? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I'm so you, disappointed. Luke. We what? tricked you. I am. You know what? I'm fine with that because uh, Dylan needs to be in front. I know. Yeah. Well, that's why I, I thought it was kind of funny. And then, like, I thought it was funny that Dylan had, to, like, to be honest, I actually think on a meta level, the funniest thing there was Dylan having to explain my meme yeah. as if he was the one who sent it. I mean, to be honest, meme. I had no idea what it was about either, like, so that was quite funny having to to explain it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now it's Luke versus Dylan next. So Dylan, send your meme to me, and I'll send them both to Michael to judge. Done. Um, now this one says it's from Just Neckbeard Things community on Reddit, uh, and it's women. This is uh, women's princess Peach. Did you actually expect me to have sex with you after dating for over three months, giving me gifts, compliments, respect, loyalty, <laughs> and being the best boyfriend I ever dated? Men, kinda. Now I like this because it speaks to a sentiment that all men share, yes. which is, um, yeah, you know, aren't women frigid? And yeah. then we have. <laughs> <laughs> Abraham's last Snapchat show going to be fire for real. Um, and of course, this relies on AI. Have you seen um, the Super Mario meme? By, uh, I haven't sorry, seen Super Mario movie, by the way. I haven't seen the Super Mario movie, okay, but I do so, know there's like, I know there's a whole thing about him being a simp. Well, That's what I saw people were saying. Bow- Bowser says that line after Princess Peach says, like, Did you expect me to marry you? And Bowser goes, Kinda. So, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you uh, um, think... know that Abraham Lincoln got assassinated? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> We're going oh to God. see a play. Well that, well, that changed everything. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I think, um, I, you know, I, I guess I, I do I do quite like the, uh, you know, I think anachronism can be quite funny for a comedy. I think, again, it's evenly matched um pretty much i think I'm, I'll, I'll give it to abraham uh you know the the snapchat one okay well that means i still i haven't defeated dylan yet because it's 2-1 mm. uh so yeah uh next you know up, what i wasn't sure whether or not there because you know i did have a slight sense that dylan might be but i was wondering because you like explained <laughs> the uh thingy i was thinking like i was wondering if like you'd you'd done it again where like you had explained dylan's one <laughs> and i think that would be really funny but yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I, the, Dylan's one. I I would have done that. That would have been funny. But I, I don't think Dylan's one needed explaining. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. Like Dylan's uh, Dylan's explanation of his one was. Yeah. You explained anyway. Okay. Uh, so next, who, up, who do we send to next? Uh, is Luke versus Michael. So Michael, you send your meme to me, and we'll send them both to uh, Dylan okay. to be judged. For the record, I haven't even looked at this one. I don't even know what this one says. No. Oh. Okay. Well, that's a good sign. Make it a silly one. Make it a minion meme. I like minion memes. 
<laughs> okay. Seems like a good sign. Hey, Luke. So, uh, I I'm, mean, for all I know, yeah, you I'm, I'm sending it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, I've seen that before. I feel like I feel like you've sent me that before, Luke. I don't, I don't know. Well, it's very really funny. Yeah, I, I've definitely seen that meme before and it's very funny. That was a good choice. Uh, so we've got <laughs> Yeah, I'm LGBT. Let God burn them. You know. <laughs> Versus is it possible aliens edited my genetic code in utero to make my penis small because I'm the chosen one? I've always felt like I have a higher calling, but my penis was the only thing holding me back. Nearly cried laughing. Thanks, Anon. Which one are you going to choose, though? Um, it's such a tough choice. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I... I mean, I know which one I'd choose. I don't know if I fully understand the... Um, and I do I do like minion memes. And I, I was actually... I, I'm a... I... I actually think this might be might be Luke as well, um, which is you know it makes me feel less guilty for for giving the win to the minion. The minion meme wins, and that is my meme. Yeah, hey. I mean, I, yeah, I think I think that that that's an example where that was a stronger meme. Oh really? I'm almost beginning to think I should have looked at these before I decided to. Send <gasps> I can't believe again. I can't believe you were two 0 for me. Fucking ridiculous. But whatever. It's two. It's two one now. Uh, so yeah, it is obviously two one in all our matches. Uh, and yeah, um, Dylan is up to one. I am up to one, and Michael is up to one. Wow! Uh, wow! Well, this is crazy. All to play for as we enter round four. So it's Dylan versus Michael. So, uh, Dylan, you send your means to Michael. He will send both to me to judge. Oh, fudge! Nothing's so I'm working. sending to Michael for Luke to judge. Got it. I can't believe you can't fucking get this. Center. You have. Center. You have. Center. Michael confirm. I, I hope you're just repeating that for comedic effect, honestly. I, I, well, you're going to cut this out anyway, so there's no need to be funny. I am sending to Michael, though. Okay, we uh, we have 10 kilometers an hour, and a guy who is, you know, he's going pretty fast. 100 kilometers per hour. <laughs> okay, what the fuck is this meme? Is this, is this a flat earth meme? Is that what this it's is? It's a flat earth meme. Uh, yes, and then uh, the, the earth somehow spins at such a rapid rate. But everybody's just happy with their families eating, you know. Oh, how could this be? Does it just... <laughs> this one makes you think. Just... <laughs> it it's makes less you... comedic and more uh, factual. This isn't a funny. This isn't a funny meme. This is this is this is why we should yeah. be questioning, you know, the shape of the earth. Yeah. Well, it yeah. does. Yeah, it just doesn't add up, does it? So let's go to the next one. I found this in your browser history. Care to explain? Xvideo.com. Xvideo.com. I was just watching videos on the new Twitter. Oh, okay. And shaking hands with Elon Musk and... <laughs> okay, right, I understand. Why the fuck is there, an like, a bird, like a blue bird who's angry? Like, that doesn't... Oh, that doesn't blue bird's be... offended because it, it lost its job. <laughs> it's it's one job was oh, uh, I see. defending against uh, people watching, people using um, okay. the fact that Twitter didn't I think, called X right. as an excuse. I think the bird's a bit annoyed as well about Elon coming in and, you know, you know getting rid of him and replacing him with an yeah. X. Again, I'm really not sure the last one that the, the the Twitter meme qualifies as a meme. So yeah, I I mean I I have to give the win to the flat Earth meme. Who 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 was that? It was me. Uh, Michael takes it. Does that uh, mean yeah. I, does that mean I can't be got now? I can't no, be it's, uh, no it's, it's two two. Oh two all. Oh, okay, I didn't realize. Okay. Yeah, it comes Damn down it. to it comes down to the last one round Damn five. It. Wow! Oh, the drama, the tension. But first, of course, it is uh, Luke versus Dylan next. Uh, and yeah, Luke is winning two one. So Dylan, you send your meme to me, and I'll send them uh, to Michael to choose. I need to, um, yeah, I need to, I need to really pull the socks up here. <laughs> okay, we got <laughs> get it. So this is this is Tom Scott, <laughs> is um, it? And uh, and basically, it's it's you know him doing some of his his crazy things he does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've just sent it to Dylan. That's my... I know that. Damn, I should have and used this on Dylan. Getting, getting my shit jokes in the centre of huge. Got my cock suck. I mean, and uh, I'm playing rather humorous faces. <laughs> Now, as for the other one, uh, okay, well, 
So this is my uncle's. This is sorry, I, I, I completely read that wrong. Things my uncle keeps in his basement. Um, there's 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 some whiskey. Uh, there's some antiquated uh, books. I don't know if like there's any logic to what the books are. Um, and then there's uh, there's Madeline McCann, <laughs> which is you know I mean it's it's, yeah. it's funny. You know? mm. And then there's a uh, you know there's a used condom. Um, yeah. So obviously uh, you know that is uh, that is pretty pretty offensive, um, and it is it is it is funny in terms of how offensive it is. Yeah. Um, the Tom Scott one's the hardest not to laugh at. So <laughs> I I think I'm I'm gonna like I, I have to give it to the Tom Scott one. Well, yes, well that that is that is a win for your boy Luke. I, so thank you. That was I was that was my big gun that one. The um, but yeah no the, the, mm. the, the, that was a funny meme that the Tom Scott one. <laughs> That's the funniest meme so far. That's it's yeah yeah. You know. I I do enjoy Tom Scott memes because he's he's such a nice guy. He is, yeah. Like he's such yeah. a pleasant guy and just <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's great. Um, I also like how one of it is just got my cock suck. It's like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in capitals. Uh, yeah, at first I thought it was stuck, like which makes sense. But... <laughs> but, yeah. I think I think we both played our aces there, but I think yeah, Luke, your ace was was just a bit funny. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So now it's uh, so. Uh, by the way, I've won that contest between um, Luke and Dylan. Mm. Luke and Dylan. The winner is Luke three to one. I can't be caught. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um. I, I. Of course. Now it's time for Michael versus Luke, and Michael is up two one. Um. Yeah. He actually represented us on University Challenge. Got us to uh, the. I think the semi-finals. If I'm right. Yes. He knows. He, he can. He knows his Hapax Legomenons. Does um. Yes. Does Thomas Scott and and his he knows his way around a cock as well. Yeah, and he knows how to get. Sucked up, right? Okay, so uh, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> They're brilliant, and the the top has got ones. I can't right, be, I okay. can't be upset about losing. They're so, they're so funny. <laughs> I know. That's, yeah. Right. We've got American boys asking girls out. Bro, just ask her out. I can't. I'm too scared. Um, Indian men asking girls out. Big boob girl, hi. You are so beautiful. <laughs> Can you open up your pan? What's up? Oh, two, 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 five, eight, two, six, two, two. And um, both good, of yeah. the girls kind of actually no the the um the girl for the bottom one kind of looks a bit more impressed. But then I suppose the other the girl other girls not being asked out. Yeah. Um, this is a funny meme. What you see versus what she sees. It's a girl. I'm assuming uh sucking cock. And uh, it's a guy. He's got these. Gla- I've you got already, you already of- went for it, there, Dylan. I've got a pair of these. Like glasses, the you said that. Where um yeah, where um you can kind of see the. Actually, <laughs> it's quite funny actually because he looks a bit like an alien. Um, yeah, what? These are um <laughs> both objectively quite funny. Um, and it I again I'm completely blind on this. I don't know who's is who. I'm probably going to go for the um, the American versus Indian one. Well, Dylan, you gave the win to me then. The Indian oh, one was my meme. That's good. That's good. You, so you never... It took you a second. Maybe you were just, you know, uh, playing dumb. You've you never seen the image on the left for the what you see versus what she sees. Right? I haven't actually, no. It's quite a funny So you image. haven't seen this meme before? No, This no. is a very common meme format. I'm, I'm, uh, which, I'm new to that, those memes. Well, anyway, so I have come back from 2-0 down to tie 2-2 with Michael. What an what an epic comeback that is! Uh, so yeah, it's all down to round five for me. So yeah, uh, into into round five, the, the the status is currently Dylan and Michael are tied at two two. So whoever wins this next one wins. I've I've already beaten Dylan, and yeah, uh, Dylan will have a deciding vote between me and Michael. So uh, yeah, Dylan and Michael is is first. They're they're tied at two two. So yeah, Dylan, you send your meme to Michael, and then he'll send both to me to judge. I'm not sure about this last one, but it's it's all I had left. Okay, so the first meme. Uh, oh my god, Ronaldo, where did you get that handbag? Oh my god, this is Mesut Ozil saying that to Ronaldo. Jesus Christ. Back in the day. Well, how, well, how, how old is this meme? Is this from like another 2011 meme? Probably like, <laughs> this is when they, they, it's probably like 20, they played for 2013. Yeah, maybe. Well, no, the, the kit's from 2011-12, so, you know. Um... <laughs> This was, yeah, Ronaldo calming uh, the Barca fans down when he scored at the Bernabeu. 
uh, yeah, uh, making it 2-1. You can see actually the score on the left says 1-1, but he's just made it 2-1 to Real Madrid. They take a while um, to update the scores on the football stadium. Sorry, it's not the Bernabeu, it's the uh, New Camp, of course. Camp or new. Camp Now, however you fucking say it. No, yeah, this is Barca Stadium. Okay, so the next meme is Cop, making list of animals that escaped. Zookeeper, the tigers should be your top priority. Cop, scribbling out ducks. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, like, I don't think... Look, I, I can't give the meme to, like, the, a troll football meme from 2011. I can't give the mm. win to that. I'm going to have to give the win to the, the, the cop one, even though I don't think it's that funny, but at least it, there's a... It's it's kind of... Also, I mean, if it's got a zookeeper in it, surely, surely it would qualify as the funniest joke of the year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, right. So, you know, it's a bit of a disappointing finale, honestly, but I think I've got to give the, uh, the win to the, the cop meme. So who was that? I think I know. It was me. Yes. Ah. See, Dylan, you could have easily won that. Well, my All thinking right. was last time I sent a really strong meme as my last one against Michael, and he sent his strongest one as well. So I was thinking I would play, hopefully having it already in the bag, I'd just play a weak one as my last one. E- this is even w- more dated than the memes that, like, troll football post, you know. Uh, <laughs> I was so funny, quite funny. Oh my god, Ronaldo! Where did he get that bag? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> it's quite funny. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> See, that's but I didn't think it. I I wasn't I wasn't fully sure it'd be a cup of tea leaks. So um, no. Uh, okay, let us now go on to uh, Luke versus Dylan. I mean, I'm already up three one, but whatever. Let's uh, let's send our memes to Michael. So if Dylan, you send your meme to me. I'll send them both to Michael. <clears throat> so first of all, we've got me when I get hold of that stupid faggot robot bumblebee, and he's tearing it apart. And then we have behind the scenes, will you cease that infernal... This is Mr. Burns. It's a conversation between Mr. Burns and some other people. Will you cease that infernal tooting? I was just practicing. It's hard to discover your inner beauty while you're shouting at a an eight-year-old girl. And cut. Let's take a break for lunch, everyone. Lisa, dear, I'm terribly sorry. I yelled. I hope I didn't frighten you. Don't feel bad, Mr. Burns. I know you're just acting... And you're doing a great job. <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit long. Um, I honestly, am I allowed to? You know, am I allowed to be critical? I don't think. Uh, I think this this kind of qualifies as a weak finale. Um, well, I mean, I've you know, already I think won. You should both be so. ashamed of yourself. <laughs> I've yeah. already won. So um, it's not no, finale, yeah. So you should have gone for it. This this was the moment to take risks. Mm, I should have anyway. I should have just um, kept the order the same and put me. Do you know? Just checking. I, I think you do know. You know where B- where Bumblebee's from, right? Yeah, Transformers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, so, he's yeah, transforming I, um, I mean, the car. <laughs> I guess, like, I'm going to say that they're they're Dylan finds it un- funny. They're equally unfunny in my humble submission. No, no, so Dylan finds it. it really I'm going funny. to give it to the one that took up less of my time, which is the Bumblebee <laughs> one. That's a great way to determine who won. But yeah, I, I mean, Dylan really likes that, like, kind of dead humor when you just yeah, like <laughs> awkward humor where it's just like people yeah. just talking to each other. Well, you expect a joke and there isn't a joke. <laughs> it's just, really yeah. likes <laughs> that is quite <laughs> funny. <laughs> yeah, well, then that's the thing. You, that's your sense of humor when the, you think there's going to be a joke coming and there just isn't, and it's just wholesome. I reckon you know? the um, I reckon what we should do next time is we should just we should put him out there. We should let the let the comments decide. Let the... <laughs> Oh, yeah, all the comments we get, yeah. <laughs> I might leave a few comments, okay. you know. Yeah. No, so, yeah, so we uh, we are done then with uh, Luke and Dylan, which means, uh, yeah, I, I won that 4-1. Yeah. That's a, that's a rout. It did, yeah. did well there. But it's me versus Michael. Um, and, of course, we've both won one match against Dylan, and now it's me versus Michael, and we're tied 2-2. So whoever wins this round wins it all so Dylan you don't just have to decide on the match you have to decide on the whole contest isn't that exciting this is very exciting and I hopefully I can um, I can do this blindly as well so that um, so that I I don't have any prejudice in my decision Mm -hmm. (laughs) oops look like I pulled the wrong piece in Jenga and um, (laughs) the um, one of the greatest tragedies um, ever (laughs) takes place um Versus, and I have actually seen this one before. <laughs> I, Mum, I called Daddy on your phone, and your father picked up, you fucking virgin. The reason that I'm not laughing so much that one is because I have seen that, that second one before. However, when I did see that for the first time, I did find it incredibly funny. Um, your father picked up, you fucking virgin. Um, 
Oh, I don't know. Actually, these these this is a strong finale. These are two very good memes. It's about time we had a we had we've had one <laughs> strong finale. To be fair though, this is the true finale because this is the last one. This Can is... I ask Dylan? Do you know? Do you, do you think you know which one is which? Which one of is Michael and which one is mine? I think, and this isn't going to prejudice my decision. I think Luke is Twin Towers, and I think Michael is is Daddy in your phone. I think objectively the nine eleven one is better, but subjectively, um, the your father picked up the fucking virgin one is funnier. So like in my like if someone yeah. I find it uh, so... I, if I I thought it was really funny the, I, the first you should have you, you know you should have seen me the first time I saw that that meme. I was like um I had to be I had to be hospitalized. So yeah, uh congratulations to to Michael. Um he has won the contest between me, myself and him and that means he wins overall. He has two matches won and I only have one so I have to set up a second and Dylan has to set up a third zero. So yeah, Michael, you've won two meme contests in a row. It feels uh, good. Yeah, it feels good. Feel, f- feels real good. And you bo- and you won them both 3-2 by the skin of your teeth. Mm. Uh, yeah. So, you know, I'm just saying overall, you know, me and you won the uh, same amount. of. Uh, that is true. Yeah. I-, I felt some tears coming out when I was losing there because I actually did, as I say, I made two of the memes myself. <laughs> And the two memes I made myself <laughs> too, yeah. both lost, and actually I did <laughs> uh, lost. time and effort into um, into putting this together. So that I, is really funny. I I am quite upset <laughs> that Michael put minimal effort in, won both of his competitions, and I lost both well, of mine. But there you go. That's yeah. how it works. Well, you sometimes. could say that I was piggybacking on the effort I put in last time because, like I say, last time I got I put together a big a big file of of memes, and this was just my so this was my reject folder. It's about knowing when to play which card. It's like, um, for me, it's not. I'd have got a more respectable <laughs> scoreline if I'd played the. If I played just, my fourth mean fifth because I'd have got. A, I'd have come out three two. You're just a schizophrenic. So I can't. Yeah, that's not schizophrenic. Do you know that's that's a spast. <laughs> do you know what a schizophrenic is? <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do you actually know what a schizophrenic is or not? I'm not. I'm not sure. No. What's that? It's not somebody who's got cerebral palsy, which is what you were doing. <laughs> it's somebody who has multiple personalities. All right. I was because I was, there was this when I was at school, when I was in school. There was this Canadian guy um, that you know he'd play. Um, he'd, he'd, it's if you've told him a joke, he'd like start shaking. Like if he were like if you told him something, he found it quite funny. He'd start shaking. So we always said he had schizophrenia. But I suppose that was um, that's that's why private school isn't very good because you know you, you end up learning the wrong yes. stuff. Um, and now it is time to do the uh, uh, the topic. So uh, anyone got got a good topic? Who wants to go first? Well, go on then, Michael. You go first. As you know, I've been in Canada. Canada. And um, and you know, there's lots of things I could talk about, but I figure you know why not just uh, cut to the chase and just tell you just the best thing that happened. We went to the uh, Toronto Islands, and uh, the Toronto Islands, you know, nice little island in the middle of uh, Lake Ontario, or whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Um, And it has some beaches on it. Uh, And obviously, we're working our way uh, west across the island. And Luke, if you're looking at the map, you might see that there's something called Hanlon's Point Nude Beach. I see that, yes. Yes. So I'm like, well, come on. We, you know, let's, let's have, let's do something crazy. And immediately I realized something. The beach is not actually that nude, but what it is, is very, very gay. (laughs) It's not not so much, you know, if you were going there like, oh, I'll get to see some boobs and stuff, um, you would be sorely disappointed because it's not really the nude beach. It's more the gay beach. So we kind of decide to cut off, like get off the beach. But we're not really sure like where the path is out. So we end up kind of going through the bushes again. And then we see <laughs> a guy sucking another guy's dick <laughs> in the bushes. <laughs> and um, When did this happen? This all happened, I guess it actually happened on our last weekend there. So I think so it actually happened You could have told weekend. us before then, right? Cause we, we yeah, talk- we could have actually. Yeah. So it happened, I think, on the on Saturday the 5th. Um, oh well, you know but, the exact date. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I do. It's burned in my memory. The thing is, it was actually like um, it's one of those moments where, what? Why do you go on holiday to, to have see another guy sucking another guy up? Yeah, in the <laughs> bushes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. No, to have experiences, things that will stay with you for the rest of your life, and in mm-hmm. that way, 
you know, that was maybe the most valuable moment of the holiday. Because sure, I might remember seeing Niagara Falls. Uh, I might remember <laughs> when I trekked up to the the hill that gives a perfect view over Lake Nipissing. Um, I might remember the cruise we took around Parry Sound where we went through all of the various islands of the uh, Georgian Bay. But do you know what I'm always going to remember? When I was walking through the bushes to get out of the, the gay beach and I stumbled upon a guy just <laughs> sucking another guy's dick. Now, um, and yeah, I thought that was something that you should know. So, were, you, were you all gathered around watching? <laughs> no, they didn't actually have they didn't have any spectators. In fact, actually, the there were no gay guys walking past them. The other people walking past them were an old couple, <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Like, I guess in Canada, they're just like, well, you know, that's that's it. That's the situation. Well, look, if you um, go to the gay nude beach, you know, yes. I hardly think it's the most surprising thing to see some guy sucking off another guy, <laughs> even <laughs> though you know, hey. It's memorable, I guess, yeah. And you know what? No, yeah, exactly. It's, it's 2023, everybody. You know, we just got to get used to seeing stuff like that nowadays. <laughs> yeah, yes. no. I, that's what I expect to see now when I go to a beach. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Accept it, bigot. Yeah, get over it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, I, I think it's because, like, basically, it's kind of in for a penny, in for a pound, right? Like, being gay <laughs> is already a bit of a taboo. <laughs> so it's kind of like... They're like, well, I'm already doing it. That's why, like, let's be honest, you know. No, but I think ultimately, yeah, a lot of what is kids. it? Now let's rate Michael's topic. So, um, Michael, uh, actually, Dylan, you go first. Seven. Uh, okay. Uh, Michael? Uh, I think it was uh, pretty pretty funny. I think we had a good old time. And it's it's also, I think it's good to have gay topics because, you know, it it's is the Pope is gay. gay. So I'm going to give it an eight. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a good topic, honestly, because it's a fun story. Um, yeah, and I think yeah, it's it's one of those you'll never forget. Saturday, the fifth of August, <laughs> um, twenty twenty three, yeah. in Toronto, Michael saw with his new wife another guy sucking yes. another guy up. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, technically think, on our honeymoon still. On your honeymoon, so, well, it's a yeah. long honeymoon, uh, isn't it? It is. <laughs> uh, I am also going to give him an eight for that. So that gives Michael a score of twenty three. Um, so now is it? It's uh, my topic. So I'm going to go next. Um, and I'm going to do a topic about a, a, a sitcom, basically. I'm going to tell you the story of a sitcom. A, a sitcom which, when I saw this, I, re- I couldn't really believe it was real, but, but apparently it is. Mm. So, have you guys ever heard of the British sitcom which ran in 1990 called Heil Honey, I'm Home? I think I might have heard about what? this, no. possibly. So, Heil Honey, I'm Home is Great a British thing. sitcom Written by Jeff Atkinson and produced in 1990, which was cancelled after one episode. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I think I do know about this. It centres on Adolf Hitler and Ava Braun, who live next door to a Jewish couple. Ooh, <laughs> a- dear. <laughs> Amy and Roll... Uh, three points if you guess the uh, the name of the surname of the Jewish couple. Uh, oh, uh, like, uh, um, Ber- uh, hi- like Bergstein. What about Goldstein? No, Dylan gets it. Well, oh, it's Goldenstein. Goldstein. Was it? Goldenstein. Oh, wow. Goldenstein. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> the show spoofs elements of mid-20th century American sitcoms and is driven by Hitler's inability to get along with his Jewish neighbours. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it caused controversy when broadcast <laughs> and has been called <laughs> perhaps the world's most taste- tasteless situation comedy, <laughs> which I love. So... Uh, basically, um, yeah, it's 1938 and Adolf Hitler and Ava Braun live in Berlin next to a Jewish couple. Uh, Hitler and Braun have little in common with their historical counterparts. Uh, acting more like stock sitcom husband and wife, Hitler, for example, appears in a golfing sweater and cravat. Uh, the Goldsteins are hackneyed characters, with Amy making frequent disparaging comments about his mother-in-law and mocking uh, performing a Roman salute at one point. So, so he, you know, he, uh, she uh, mocks Hitler, and the show is a spoof not of the Third Reich, but of the sort of sitcoms produced in the U.S. between the 1950s and 70s. Uh, so yeah, um, I really can't believe this was made, but at the same time, I think it's a great idea. I think it could be funny. Uh, I don't know yeah. what you think initially. It yeah. sounds. Are we supposed um, to sympathise with the Hitler character or the Goldstein? So who who are we rooting for as an audience? Well, I, I think a bit of both. Like, you know, you can imagine the Goldsteins are pretty annoying neighbours for various reasons, right? You know? Yeah, I will say, um, what I find funny is that on the cast, none of the actors 
have Wikipedia pages. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Which is like crazy. You would have thought they, this would launch, a, you know, be a real kind of springboard for a serious <laughs> career. Awesome. Well, there was one person, which is Patrick Cargill uh, as Neville yeah. Chamberlain. Um, so the plot of the first episode centers on British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain coming to Hitler's house, not wanting the Goldensteins to interrupt the visit. Hitler instructs Braun to keep the news from Rosa, which she fails to do. So Rosa... Julie invites herself over with the hopes of matching Chamberlain with her dull niece, Ruth. Hitler gets the Goldsteins drunk in an attempt to make them leave before Chamberlain arrives, but they stay. Amy and Ava end up leading the visiting Prime Minister in a conga line around the living room with, <laughs> while Hitler hides the peace for our time agreement in the icebox. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's quite funny, actually. Yeah. yeah. Only the pilot... You see, you see that is funny, and... I can't. Yeah, again, it's like the kind of it's the kind of humor that I think we can appreciate. But back in the nineties, that that just wasn't gonna wasn't gonna fly. Uh, yeah, basically, eleven episodes were planned and eight were recorded, uh, in in which a story arc involved Hitler's secretive attempts to kill the Goldsteins. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. I don't know. Um, so the, yeah, does that does that kind of ruin the joke if he's trying to kill them? Maybe it's just it'd be funny if he's just putting up with them. It's ah, oh, these damn neighbors. Or he's trying to get them yeah. to move away yeah. or something. Well, the issue is that there's a weird dynamic here because it's set in 1938, right? Yeah. And Hitler, you know, he's meeting with, he's meeting with Neville Chamberlain, so he's like the uh, the leader of Germany. He's the leader of the Nazi Party at this yeah. stage. So it makes no real sense to, that he'd have Jewish neighbors who annoy him because he'd just get rid of them, obviously, because he's got so much power. Like that's what I'm thinking. So it would have been a much better if he. It's like the 19. Well, it's 1930, for instance. It's before he became Chancellor, before the Third Reich took over. And he's he's trying to establish his Nazi party, but he hasn't got any power. So he has to put up with these Jewish neighbours. And so that's why he has to secretly kill them, because he can't do it legally, because he's not all-powerful yet. Well, Luke, so, maybe this yes. is why the programme failed. Maybe this is why it was the, never set well, to... Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I love this. So it was shown at 9:30 p.m. on a Sunday, the first episode. During after an episode of Dad's Army, uh, during the credits of Dad's Army, the announcer said, "And unless Arthur Lowe defeats him, it's the man himself in a few moments." In Heil, honey, I'm home. <laughs> uh, which, of course, yeah, unless Arthur Lowe defeats Hitler, yeah, yeah. it's it's Hitler returns. Um, the program proved controversial, with the Secretary General of the British Board of Deputies or British Jews or whatever the fuck it's called describing the pilot <laughs> as uh, in very bad taste. <laughs> You're not doing the voice right. You mean he described the pilot as in very bad taste? Yeah. I, I would have liked if there was a running motif of um, people doing things involving like cooking and Hitler expressing skepticism as to whether or not they could have got that many things uh, through the cooked in the oven um, in the amount of time set out. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, it could come out like, honey, uh, hello, I have made six cookies in uh, in five minutes. And Hitler's like, six cookies in five minutes? That doesn't make any sense. The science, the, the mathematics there. What was this then, a rip on, Michael? It's like uh, like people who think that, like, you know, they couldn't have killed six million Jews. Oh, like basically, like, fuck. Like Holocaust. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Damn, or, I'm or being... okay, how about this one? Um, the, uh, the... J- the Jewish family could be like, um, oh, uh, Hitler, Hitler b- burned, burned uh, the the roast, and it was really bad because we couldn't afford food. So we should get to move into the, <laughs> we should get to move into the Al Shabazi house. See these, these <laughs> like, oh, no, be good. yeah, Hitler burns the house down, and they have to move into the house of the Arabs across the street. <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> Hitler burns the spin-off. house down, and it's like a, uh, it's foreshadowing for the Reichstag fire, you know. Oh yeah, uh, true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, no. Th- these are the, these are the things we could put in the episode. Like mm. you know, we we could create this. We could revive this TV we show. Like every do a revival. Everything's yeah. getting a reboot. <laughs> everything's getting a reboot nowadays. If they can reboot, re- high, if yeah. they can reboot Little Mermaid, they can reboot this. <laughs> high, but, yeah, if yeah. they can reboot uh, Snow White, even though it's a really sexist, evil film that never should have been made, they can reboot this. Um, yeah, so uh, although uh, basically yeah, the, sh- the show was not, apparently according to Atkinson who made it, the show was not m- uh, made to shock but examine the appeasement surrounding Hitler in 1938. And he said the satire of this appeasement did not translate as well as intended. <laughs> again, I don't think it's, uh, again, you're going for the wrong angle here. He need- it needs to be before he has power, so he's just this frustrated Nazi, you know, who, who hates his Jewish neighbours but can't do anything about it. That's a funny, honestly, you know what, if I ever become big in TV, I'm going to revive Heil, honey, I'm home. 
That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. And then that is your career either. So let, let us review that that topic. Uh, so, uh, Dylan, do you want to give it a rating? Um, yeah, I think uh, I think that's an eight. I, I want to check out this series as well, and I think that's that's what the yeah. topic's all about. So, yeah. There's only one episode. Michael, can I have a rating from you, please? Uh, yeah, I, I think it's, again, pretty solid. Um, I, I, yeah, eight, eight. I think eight's fair. Okay, well, I think it's an eight as well, so that's going to give me a one-point lead over Michael. Ooh, uh, you bastard. Yeah, I know. Well, well, it's the same as last week. I got 24, Michael gets 23, but will Dylan challenge? Dylan can still win. Yeah, so um, what I'm going to send you um, is an Excel uh, thingy-bajig with um, lots of topics on there, actually. Topics that me and my, uh, my racist friend um, have um, come up with over the years, and um, maybe we could have a look at them. Complete. We like when we go to the for a drink and that, um, you see that there's some pints next to it. The more pints next to the topic, the more controversial it is. So, like for instance, the ones are quite you know quite benign, quite quite you know you know very you know quite airy fairy. Once you yeah. get like all the way up to like 10, 11, 12, 13, that's when it gets, you know, quite controversial. So you can see like okay. there are D's next to the ones I've come up with, J's next to the one that my mate came up with, and B's are the ones that we uh, we both came up with. So you came up with the the topic after British what is your favorite race? Yeah, I did, yeah. It's cuz it's cuz it's, you know, I mean, he he and wouldn't he say... wouldn't he wouldn't have an answer for that, you see. That's that's why it's quite a funny one to to have. He'd be, oh, oh. Oh. Actually, no, oh, by the he, way, he likes like the um what are they like the Nepalese people. Oh, hold on a minute. Wait, 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 wait. So I, I decided to look at the things you've both agreed are like good topics, you know. Cuz I think that's what we really want. Well, it's what we both, both came up with. <clears throat> and should there are only four. Back there are only some four things camps. you both came up with, and yes, there we go. There it is. Should we bring back concentration camps? <laughs> what is the origin of what, what? How did you come to both agree on that being a good topic of discussion? I think it was just kind of like when well, we got to um, we got so we need we need some like controversial stuff to think talk about when we get to eight pints, and then uh, that I makes think it, it seem kind of artificial. It was a little bit artificial, yeah. maybe. The, the B's kind of are artificial, whereas the D's and J's are more organic, kind of. Uh, oh, this so, should be a topic. Oh, this should be a topic. So, th- there is a, a a topic which you proposed, Dylan, called "Was Hitler Right?" I mean, and he wasn't. But I, <laughs> okay, but I'm just going to make sure. Are you sure? Your friend is the racist friend. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Hold on, yeah, this is like well, a, you know, it's it's like di- it's it's like it's like pushing buttons, isn't it? It's like um, does a does does your racist Dylan does your racist friend go on another podcast and talk about you and refer to you as the, his racist? Yeah. friend? <laughs> yeah, could you imagine? He actually said we should do a podcast at some point. But, but yeah, I, I, I like. By one the way, of the topics are just cerebral palsy. <laughs> just that's it. <laughs> Rosie one Jones. of them is AIDS as well. AIDS, yeah. Seven AIDS. Yeah. It's quite Ghosts, a... Sam Smith. Uh, <laughs> top one's he, cancer. He doesn't like Sam Smith. Um, I like way, how which religion is correct is only a five out of 14. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just want to... You know, like, British is, like, not a race and it should be white, right? Oh, yeah. True. True, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just, like, for, for a racist... Well, to be fair, everything's a race. I mean, sorry, nothing's a race. Well, I think that's my yeah. one, the after British, what's your favourite race? So I'll take the L on that. So, Dylan, can I have a rating for your topic? I have to say as well, before I give my rating, the audio does sound quite distorted at the moment. You sound a bit like Sean Dyche while you're speaking, um, just because the, the audio is a bit funny for okay, me, well, but it's probably not for everybody yeah, else. Yeah, I know, I know. That's fine. Um, on. I Wait. will give myself a seven. I'm going to give it a five. Oh, I hate yeah, you. I think a five is a fair rating. <laughs> like, it had some funny moments, but it's barely a topic, Dylan, honest. So that gives you a score of 17, uh, which means that I win this week. And yeah, Dylan, you, you're having an awful week, pal. Oh, sorry, an awful season. I am, actually, yeah. I need, I, need to, I need to pull my socks up next series, don't I? Season. Uh, so, Dylan, do you want to do a uh, uh, a final thought? Um, yeah, so hang on. Um, I started dating a zookeeper. Uh, Turns yeah, out he was a yeah. rhinoceros. Um, I, I, I started dating uh, a zookeeper. Um, turned out that she... I don't know. I, okay. I don't know. Right. Um, <laughs> I started dating a zookeeper. Um, turns out he was fucking the animals. Oh, so, that's uh, that, that's probably funnier actually than the. I mean, it's not it's that, not as clever I don't, because the double entendre with cheater, but I'd probably laugh yeah. more at that than the the cheater. Yeah, so. well, I think it's in response to your your joke and the the joke winner, which makes it. Wait, oh, I got it. I I started dating a zookeeper. Turned out he was spanking the monkey. <laughs> hey, yeah, oh, that's that's quite good. That's good. That's actually yeah. That's, that's good. you know what. 
Maybe you should it's actually very, give uh, comedy a go, Michael, because that is funnier yeah, I think I than the funniest joke at Edinburgh Fringe. Yeah, but everyone knows the funniest joke isn't actually the funniest joke. I think it's a joke that they make it like an unfunny joke. I think that's the joke. Anyway, yeah, Michael, uh, enjoy your uh, your tour of Canada. Keep you know, it's it's late summer uh, for us. The weather has turned over here, but I guess you're just still having fun out in Canada, right? Still walking around in my t shirt. There we go. So yeah, enjoy. Keep enjoying Canada, and Dylan, keep enjoying being yourself somehow. And yeah, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye. See you guys in a couple of weeks. Bye.